How do you play Monopoly Deal? In this video, we'll be teaching you the rules and instructions and how to play Monopoly Deal. Let's get into it. Shuffle the rest of the cards and deal five to each player. Look at your cards and remember, keep them a secret. Place the remaining cards in the center of play as a draw pile. Remember, the goal of the game is to be the first player to collect three complete property sets in different colors. What happens on your turn? First, draw two cards. If you ever start your turn with no cards, draw five instead. Next, play up to three cards of any type in any combination. You may choose to play none. At the end of your turn, you can have up to seven cards. If you ever have more than seven, choose which extras to place in the discard pile. How do you play cards? There are three different ways in which you can play cards. First is to add money to your bank. Second is to add a property to your collection. And third is to play an action card by reading it aloud. Remember, you can play any three cards in any combination in any order. Therefore, I could play three money cards, I could play three property cards, or three action cards. One of each, vice versa, however you want to do it. It is completely up to you as long as you only play up to three cards. Let's go a little bit more in depth into each one. If you're going to add money to your bank, you can simply do it in two ways. You can place a money card face up in front of you, which is the simplest way to add money, or you can place an action card in front of you in your money pile. Action cards are worth the dollar amount shown in the top left of the card. You will need money in your bank to pay other players throughout the game. Remember, this is very important. Once you place an action card in your bank, it becomes money and cannot be used as an action card for the rest of the game. The next type of card we will discuss is the most important, adding a property to your collection. You will do this by placing it face up in front of you. Remember that throughout the game, you can place as many properties as you want. Just remember that you need to collect three complete property sets in different colors. For example, you cannot win by collecting two red sets and one blue set. The last group of cards that we will be going over are the action cards. Action cards allow you to do things such as charge other players rent, steal their cards, and demand money for your birthday. Remember that action cards can be also be placed in your bank as money and the value of those is shown in the corner in a red ring. What happens when you have to pay? Here are some important things to remember. Cards never go back into a player's hand. So when you give the cards to another player, they go directly from your set in the table over to theirs, not into their hand. Never pay with cards from your hand. You can only pay with cards in front of you, which is good if you have no cards in front of you, you don't have to pay anything at all. You can pay with cards from your bank, with properties, or a combination of both. And remember, you get to choose how you pay, not the player you're paying. Change is never given. For example, if a player charges you $2 million in rent, and you only have a $3 million card in your bank, you don't get changed. That's just bad luck. If you pay with property cards, they must go into the other player's property collection. Each action card has things that it can and can't do. Remember to look at the words on the bottom of the card to know what you can do with that card. I will be quickly going over each card, but if you want to go in greater detail, click the link in the description down below for videos talking about each of these cards. The slide deal can be used to take one property from another player. The force deal can be used to swap one of your properties for the property of another. The deal breaker can be used to steal a full property set. The just say no can be played at any time to cancel the effect of another player's action card against you. The debt collector can be used to demand 5 million from one player. The it's my birthday demands that all players pay you 2 million for your birthday. The multicolored rent card can be used to charge one player of your choice rent for the property or properties that you own in one of the colors. The normal rent card can be used to charge all players rent for property or properties you own that match one of the colors on the rent card. Double the rent can be played with the standard rent card to double the amount that is owed. The pass go can be used to pick up two extra cards from the draw pile. You can add a house and hotel to a full property set. Remember you can only have one house and one hotel on any set. 
You can only add a hotel to a property set after you've added a house. And just like in Monopoly, you cannot add houses or hotels to railroad or utility. You can use property wild cards as substitutes for property cards of one of the colors shown on the card. There are two multicolored property wild cards that can be used as properties of any color. These have no monetary value and cannot be used as payment. For example, if that was the last card that you had down and somebody charged rent, you would not have to pay anything. And lastly, you can swap property wild cards around among different sets on your turn. Hey guys, hope that was helpful. If you want to pick out this game for yourself, click the link in the description down below. We hope that that was able to help you understand how to better play Monopoly Deal and that you're able to have a lot of fun with your family and friends as you play this game. If you want to check out more Monopoly Deal content, you can click here and other Brimley Games videos right here. Thanks guys.